guys and this is Stefan Monty and today I'm here with July's gaming PC build I am very very sorry I haven't uploaded a video in quite a while and uh, now I'm back and hopefully I will be uploading more videos I'm gonna definitely do three gaming PC builds this week so this is going to be one of them I'm gonna do June's gaming PC build next and then after I'm gonna do August's gaming PC build so um, I've been having some problems with Windows and now as you can see over here I'm copying all my important data from my laptop so I will f do a fresh installation of Windows 8.1 and that would be good to go. So today I am going to do things a bit different. I have all the parts that I chose for this gaming build in my browser and I am going to be showing you the parts from my browser so as you can see fr I, I wanted to tell you that from the video card the Asus Radeon R9 290X you get if you purchase this model you will get three free games with it so that I think it's quite worth it so you would be not just that it has good performance for the price you are also getting three free games with the case you are getting ten dollars mail in rebate and with the power supply you are getting twenty dollar mail in rebate so let's go for the CPU for the CPU I chose the AMD FX4130 3.4 GHz and it's a quad core CPU <coughs> excuse me and uh, this CPU it's quite worth it for the price and I uh, and yes I need to tell you that this build is going to be an AMD build every part from this build is going to be I'm not every part I mean the CPU and the graphics cards are going to be AMD and uh, as you can see this CPU comes with cooling over here includes CPU cooling but we are not going to be using its stock cooler I am going to be using a CPU cooler another CPU cooler which I already chose <coughs> excuse me and um, that's about it for the CPU it's 64 bit and uh, that's uh, I think all the things that you, need, you should know for the CPU okay so next in our build it is the CPU cooler so I chose the C cooler master glazer 240 milliliters uh, 8.86.2 CFM li CPU liquid cooler and um, it over here just tells you what type of socket it supports and it does support our socket we have mm, there is no problem with that I'm just going to have to close some of these tabs because I'm using too much CPU power since I'm recording I'm just gonna pause the recording and I will be back shortly okay I'm back and uh, here is the CPU cooler as I was speaking about and yes it is liquid cooling obviously and this is the speed uh, the speed of the rotations per minute of the fans okay the next part is the motherboard so for the motherboard I went with the MSI 970 gaming ATX AM3 plus motherboard so this is obviously a motherboard which is going to support our AMD CPU and uh, and it takes a maximum of 32 gigabytes of RAM but we are going to be using only 16 in this build and it does support uh, rapids, uh, not rapids. I'm sorry. Crossfire and SLI, and it has obviously USB 3.0, uh, 
and uh, it supports the RAM speed which we are going to be using is uh, 1600 megahertz and uh, obviously it's a good motherboard since it's made by MSI and it's a gaming motherboard for sure since it's part of the name so the next part is going to be the RAM for the RAM I went with Crucial Ballistic Sport 16 gigabyte pack and uh, you, uh, you would have two DIMMs of 8 gigabytes each and obviously it's the DR3 the speed as I already told you 1600 megahertz and uh, it does have a heatsink on it so it will uh, so it would it's supposed to be faster than others meaning it will dissipate heat very quickly and it uh, will help you in performance so the next part in this build is going to be the let's see the SSD for the SSD I went with the crucial M500 240 GB 2.5 inch solid state drive obviously it's going to be 2.5 inch and uh, it's a very fast SSD for the build it's uh, it's a good price you have 240 gigabytes and it's plenty enough space to install windows and all of your needful programs or even games if you would like to in put in it so that's I think about it for the SSD and uh, I think we should go for our next part which is the hard drive for the hard drive I went with the Seagate Barracuda 3 terabyte 3.5 inch 7200 rotations per minute so it's 3 terabytes as I already told you and it's SATA 6 gigabits per second speed and it has a cache of 64 megabytes and it's a very good hard drive for the price so it's uh, like almost the same price as the SSD and you're having 3 terabytes of storage since obviously the SSD is way more faster than the hard drive and uh, for the next part is it is going to be the video card <laughs> okay so go in the link of the video card so here I am and for the video card I went with the Asus Radeon R9 290X 4GB ROG Matrix video card so it has as already said 4GB of memory and it is obviously quite a fast uh, video card it's the R9 290X and it supports Crossfire in four way crossfire and the memory obviously it's DDR G DDR5 its core clock is 1.05 gigahertz the total amount of power it takes is 300 watts so and obviously it's gonna have a fan so it has two DVI-D dual link ports it has one display port and one HDMI so that's kind of like the standard ports uh, outputs for the graphics card so as I already said you would get three free games if you buy this graphics card so another cool thing of purchasing this graphics card so the next part is going to be our case for the case I went with the Corsair 600T silver ATX mid tower case so this case is uh, very well built and uh, it includes no, so no power supply so that's a good thing because we are going to use our own um, selected power supply and it has four bays for the 5.25 inch so that's not going to be that too much useful but it's there if you need it and it has six internal 3.5 bays to mount your hard drives or S the SSD it has front uh, new USB 3.0 and, and the color silver or black either you, you can choose which color you can have and um, I think that's about it for the case it's very well built and it has 
quite good cooling performance so the next part it is going to be the power supply okay for the power supply I went with the EVGA Supernova 1000 watt power supply which is 80 plus platinum certified and it's fully modular so since as you all know we should save electricity and it's a very important thing I highly recommend getting this power supply even if you can you'd go for 100 pl uh, 80 plus titanium certified but then it would be too much costly and uh, uh, for now I don't think it's worth the price and going with this power supply it's enough and this power supply has 1000 watts of power as already said and it's uh, fully modular so you're going to be removing any cables which you don't need and this is the important thing why I chose this power supply since it is 92% efficient so for every 1 watt you're giving it of power you're getting 92% of that 1 watt back so you're not wasting a lot like 80 that's why it's 80 plus or 80 plus bronze certified power supply it's only like 80 percent efficient or like 81 if I'm not mistaken something like, something like that so you see the massive difference and even in your electricity bill you will see that massive difference if you want to go with like a 80 plus gold certified power supply be my guest you are eventually going to buy these parts and you choose your parts I'm just giving you suggestions for what you are going to choose so that's about it for this build I will be uploading as I already said more builds for in this week and uh, I think I covered all the parts let me see yes I did I just uh, figured out that I added operating system so I recommend you to go with Microsoft Windows 8.1 for this build I, I am being I'm using it right now but it's not the operating system the problem is it's just uh, I installed a bad driver for my graphics card and I ha have I've been trying to delete it but and remove it but it's um, being no use so I tried many many things but it's not working so I'm gonna be like I've been like just uh, I'm just gonna do a fresh installation of Windows and that would definitely solve it so um, here is the total price of this build with the operating operating system I don't suggest you to keep this amount of price in your mind so don't stay like oh my god it's like $1738 and um, since the prices of parts are all the time changing you can never say that for example the power supply costs 999 it can change it could go higher it could go lower and that is the thing of PC parts you can never say that thing it's a certain amount of price it will change eventually if a new part comes out it's better uh, or less the thing is that if the new part comes out the older one will go cheaper but obviously then the new part would be much more better but st still the old one like if there is like like let's just say instead of the P2 like the P3 comes out it doesn't mean that the P2 isn't worth it when it's not w w good for the price it would still be worth it and even more worth it since it would be cheaper so that's about it for this build I will be seeing you sh soon enough I think today is Friday it's Friday morning and uh, I will be seeing you on Saturday yes tomorrow I will be doing June's gaming PC build and hopefully on Sunday I will do August gaming PC build and I will try and do some, like two extra gaming PC builds and I would try and find a good gaming laptop build I'm sorry not build like a good gaming laptop for you to buy so I am uh, looking at this laptop which I'm going to go on the link I'm sorry I have to pause the recording since I have the same problem with the video card again this is the laptop I've been telling you about that I'm going to try and uh, purchase it's quite expensive but it's uh, very worth the price and now it's gone a bit low on the price since the new 800 series of uh, NVIDIA's graphics cards came out so 
I will uh, do my best to get this laptop as soon as possible. Obviously, if I will get this laptop, I would be able to do videos much more easy, much more quicker, and much more efficiently. Sorry, I would do them 4K resolution if I get this video. I am sorry, this laptop. So, just a quick overview if you're curious. This laptop has two graphics cards. You can have two graphics cards instead of the DVD drive, you will have an extra graphics card. 16 gigabytes of RAM and Intel Core i7 and it has an SSD of 24 gigs and the screen is full HD and it's 15.6 uh, inches and the battery life without graphics power it says you like f 6 hours so I don't think I don't know if it's true or not it could be I don't think Lenovo are going to lie about that as you can see the processor is the 4700MQ processor 2.4 gigahertz and it comes with Windows 8.1 and as I just said the graphics is two graphics cards so you would have SLI of two GT750M so in total you would have two core two GPU clock CPUs like GPU the CPU of the GPUs and you would have four gigabytes of total gaming RAM so that's going to be a, a lot of graphics power and that, that is one of the main reasons why I want this laptop so you would have two USB 3.0 ports in this laptop and uh, another USB port I did go around this laptop in my video of a, ga a great gaming P a gaming laptop deal so if you curious and want to see gameplay I did gameplay I did gameplay of this new laptop in my channel and I would be posting the link of that in the description so thanks for watching everyone and as I already told you I would see you tomorrow for June's gaming PC build